Alright, some deathmatch. I think I'm going to start on the standard gunship build just to show how that plays. And um, I'm going to try to stay on the gunship the whole game. There's some games where you just can't play gunship solo because there's just too much pressure on you. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Twelve v twelve, Dio's up here. Always want to be in powered engines while boosting. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually wait here on my engine power to regenerate before I pick up this damage overcharge, because no one is near me. That way I'll have full engine power for once I pick it up, so I can uh, use it easier. So when you right click to, to scope, you want to make sure you scroll back with your mouse wheel. And then uh, just shoot people. I'm going to line people up to the center of your screen as much as possible. I'm going to break this with this though. Then with damage overcharge it's an easy one shot. So I'm strafing to the left a little bit here to keep them centered. Gives me more accuracy. Again, just try to keep them in the middle of your screen when you're shooting. Kind of getting unlucky here. Use Disto to break that and then immediately set up for the barrel roll. This lets this barrel to cover. Notice how I didn't barrel straight up. I was barreling to like line of sight. And then we're kind of hanging out here until we get our, our break back. So now we have a few seconds on Disto so we should be good to poke our head out again. Just gonna kill these drones. Damage overcharges up north again, so we're gonna head there. I'm gonna do the same strategy here of waiting for my engine power. Just using tab every once in a while to check the closest target. Make sure no one's coming to try to steal this from me. Alright, so we're gonna lead a little bit here so that once the charge is finished, she's in the middle of our firing arc to get the highest accuracy. Guy's doing a great job line of sighting. So we're gonna have to run here. We gotta run to line of sight. So you can see how like they're putting a decent amount of pressure on me while playing gunship here. So like I'm not getting to shoot very much. Finish that one off. Didn't get to do much with that damage overcharge. So there's another gunship. We're just gonna move in a little bit here. Maybe kill this guy on the open as soon as he stops moving. It's a bomber. So now I ran out of weapon power, so what I'm gonna do is wait till it goes all the way back up to shoot again. You know, unless someone starts shooting me. Alright, so Kalo got Dio. Have to be careful there. This guy. So I had to barrel forward. You never really want to do this, but at least I'm barreling into the bottom here where there's a lot of line of sight tricks. 
use distortion to break this and then run into the tunnel to break the next one and then we're gonna keep running to uh, to get to line of sight here they got it off so I'm just gonna s yeah, I didn't get to it but you could see barrel roll was almost off cool down there So in strike fighters you usually want to open up with ion because they have so many shields anyways and it lets you get to your next railgun a little bit quicker perfect this guy's coming over eye on him using tab to find targets I'm gonna go for a second ion on this guy because he has damage overcharge and we don't want him killing our whole team alright so he's running looks like he's coming back so that's the second eye on there so you shouldn't have too much weapon power left there you go Eye on that strike. Looks like he's running a little bit. Looks like we have another gunship ioning, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep slugging here so that we don't like double ion people for no reason. Go ahead and move back. Because once you use your distortion, you need to set up your barrel roll, basically. Looks like he's gone. my barrel roll again looks like damage overcharges in the middle so can't really get to it right now that was unlucky Get some ion AoE in here. There we go. So this guy has very little engine power, so we should be able to finish him off before he does anything. So normally I'd wait for weapon power, but this guy's really low. So we're going to try to get that finish off. Then we had to run. Got that ion in. Only need a little charge because he didn't have any shields. Wait for weapon power here. Probably going to go at about half just so that he doesn't get out of range there we go All right, so we got people behind us killing our team gonna go deal with that that was a good eye on any shot should finish him Strafing to the left here. Still doing it. Excellent. I'm going to go get damage overcharge if I can. It's on their side of the map, but I think it's worth the risk here. Use distortion to break the missile lock. 
and then they got it anyways so go ahead and barrel under line of sight we're not going to stay space barring immediately here we're in cover we're just going to hold w wait till we get our engine power back because we need to make a dash through line of sight stuff so that we don't get a missile on us like that one and then again just trying to get to cover so we didn't get to do much with the damage overcharge but they also didn't get it so that's that's a good thing looking for targets there's a couple of guys over here damage overcharge with slug is pretty brutal So we distortion the first lock, then we set up our barrel. You can see it's just a lot of the same things over and over again. I'm gonna try to get this strike over here. Almost got that guy. Damage overcharge spawned underneath us. It's great. We're picking that up. Get this guy here. So I'm like way out in the open here, but with damage overcharge, I feel it's worth it because we'll probably get some kills for it. guy's coming flying in he might just come into range and die so I'm like slowly strafing here damage overcharge is about to wear off so I'm just gonna run back to the team get a I see a repair drone here I'm gonna get some repairs got a nice lead there Really see anyone coming out. Both teams are kind of just playing really defensive. Try to get an eye on here. Let's get that drone for our team. Excellent. Right, I'm gonna go get damage overcharges down south. I'm gonna do the uh, the engine thing again once I get there, as long as no one else is around. so that we can get back to the action quicker. There we go. So pick this up. For the most part with gunship you're pretty much just in power to weapons or engines back and forth. Oh, missed that. There we go. Try to get this kill here. See, we, we got the first shot and it, it got him really low. So for the second shot, we only needed to do a 25% shot, which makes it for a nice quick kill. Oh, gotta move. So I'm actually gonna fire in power to engines here because I only plan to take the one shot and having more engine power after is, is better. That's that's a trick for when you're like trying to shoot while moving a lot. Just fire in power to engines until you know you have a ton of engine power again. All right, so I'm gonna wait till we get some more weapon power. See, I'm boosting in power to weapons here because I needed more weapon power, but I also like wanted to move a little bit. And because I was only going to move a little bit, I knew I would have the uh, the engine power back once I was done. There we go. Excellent. Trying to lead my target here. Because you want to center your shots as much as you can. Alright, so we're going to disto. See, like, as soon as that lock starts, you want to you want to distortion and start start moving towards line of sight. Let's move up 
here on this gunship. It's three seconds left, so it doesn't really matter much. There you go. It's a great game. We only died once. Did great. Slade here did also did great. This was probably the other gunship that was ioning a bunch. You can see he has like a pile of assists. And uh, yeah.